Express also says managing inflation, relevant ministries in the constant engagement on the supply side measures. The next article relates to the inflation. It is saying growth can be tenuous if retail inflation is unchecked. What is retail inflation? Retail inflation is linked to the products or the basket that includes the basically retail consumption. It is said the most important component in the retail basket is the food. And in India, we face the food inflation. You can see there are numerous articles coming on it. This is the, the Hindu. Should the RBI focus on the core inflation while forming its monetary policy? We will see what is a core inflation. Now, RBI can't ignore the food inflation while framing the monetary policy. I hope the monetary policy is clear to you. We have discussed in yesterday's lecture. In brief, let me tell you, in monetary policy, basically RBI tries to regulate the interest rates in the economy to basically, basically balance between the inflation and the growth. But in India, we have given the target of inflation. So basically RBI focuses on the inflation regulation in the monetary policy by regulating the interest rates in the economy. Now Indian Express also says managing inflation relevant ministries in the constant engagement on the supply side measures. Before going into the discussion whether there is need of core inflation or the head inflation need to be targeted by the RBI, let me discuss what is a core and headline inflation. Basically, RBI focuses on the consumer price index. I hope you are clear. There are two types of indexes to measure the inflation. One is CPI, other one is WPI, wholesale price index and the consumer price index. In brief, let me tell you, in the consumer price index, we take up the consumer basket and whatever is in the consumer basket on this we see whether the prices are rising or not that way we basically measure the inflation in wholesale price index we see the wholesale basket more and in this services are not included and the basically weightage to the food is less that's why rbi move to the consumer price index because you know people will obviously focus on the cpi more to whether they are facing the inflation or not so for the people welfare rbi has moved to the cpi it is further divided into the core inflation and the headline inflation headline inflation takes all the consumer basket but the con core inflation takes the known volatile products Non volatile, as in in which there is less fluctuation. In India, we face the major fluctuation in the two products that is food and fuel. These are the two major products that are these are most volatile in kind in the terms of inflation. That's why UPA basically RBI wants to take up the core inflation while tackling the inflation targeting. But the debate is as currently RBI is focusing on the headline inflation for the inflation targeting, the debate is whether the RBI has should move to core inflation or not. I hope you have understood this way you can see. Should the RBI focus on the core inflation? Should we exclude the food and fuel inflation from the inflation targeting? In the monetary policy, should we exclude them? And it says RBI can't ignore the food inflation because it is basically major impacting the 
poor sections of the society how can we move away from it and it can lead to the more inflation in future we will discuss this let's see core versus headline inflation our chief economic advisor has suggested central bank's inflation target should exclude the food however the several economist has disagreed on this approach we will take see the arguments for and against government panels are considering to reduce the weightage of the food in the cpi so in the cpi food is uh, having almost 46% of the weightage so on you need to understand one thing in the monetary policy if rb is focusing on the inflation see to reduce the inflation what rb needs to do basically it needs to decrease the money supply i hope you are clear with it because uh, if you have more money you will spend more if you will spend more there will be more demand in the economy so inflation will be there but to decrease the inflation rbi has to decrease the money supply you can think obviously to reduce the money supply rbi has to reduce the interest rate sorry increase the interest rate so rbi has to increase the interest rate by increasing the interest rate basically it is increasing the borrowing cost so less money will be available in the economy by increasing the interest rate but it is hindering the growth as borrowing cost will increased for the businesses they can't get the loan and they will produce less in the economy if the, there will be less production and it means it is hindering the growth this way inflation should be measured correctly that's why basically discussion is there if we will keep on focusing on the headline inflation that includes the almost 46% inflation relating to the food and food inflation is high in india this way we will be hindering the growth as the interest rate will be increased in response to the high inflation i hope this diagram is clear to you now moving further what are the arguments there moreover general public perceives the inflation mainly through the lens of the food prices so it is saying we can't ignore the food because general public is basically focus on the food prices and then we can't be complacent it has been said by the das and next india share of the food and beverage in the cpi basket it is currently around 46% that is much higher than the developed countries or even the emerging countries like brazil china south africa their weight is only 20 to 25% even though the share of the food is expected to fall to the 43% it is saying in the new household consumption survey the current weight is 46% later it will be 43% but if we basically compare with the other countries they are having only around 20 to 25% these arguments are saying rather than just moving to the core inflation we can focus on decreasing the weight of the food in the cpi core inflation then headline inflation arguments persistently high food inflation and unchanged unanchored inflation expectations could lead to the spill over to the core inflation through increased wages driven by the cost of living concerns firms might then pass on these higher costs by raising the prices for the goods and services basically it is saying if we will focus on the core inflation that is basically we are ignoring the food this way high food inflation will lead to the people will demand more wages 
you know uh, you know employees or the, any the workmen if they will not be able to sustain their living standards with the current income they will obviously demand more wages and if they will demand more wages what it will be doing it will be increasing cost of production for the businessman and if there is increase in the cost of production then they will increase the prices so it is leading to the cost pull inflation so it is saying although in the economics basic concepts you obviously read there is a cost pull inflation cost push inflation and the demand pull inflation so basically cost inflation is increasing due to the increase in the cost of production so here we are saying if we will not focus on the food inflation then people might demand more wages then it can lead to increase in the cost of production that will lead to the cost push inflation and this way inflation will be more in the economy even if the food inflation subsides i hope this is clear to you solution obviously in the exam you need to give the arguments for both of the sides headline inflation and the core inflation thereafter you have to give the solution to tackle it in the mains there could be question on the inflation targeting whether in the monetary policy the move needs to be done by moving from the headline inflation to the core inflation you need to write the arguments against and for and then the solution could be there is a need of the balance of the approach between the core and the food inflation trends and their impact on the overall cpi seasonal food price fluctuations can be ignored if they seem temporary so what is the solution if there is a temporary fluctuation then it can be basically ignored and the other solution could be the food weightage in the cpi can be decreased but for the prelims you need to understand cost push inflation and the demand pull inflation there are numerous prelims questions there you can see the previous year questions where the cost push inflation and the demand pull inflation has already been asked thereafter you need to read about the cpi and wpi then comes the what is the difference between the core and headline inflation and the for the mains whatever the discussion is required i have already discussed i hope today's discussion will be helpful to you you need to revise your basic concept that has already been told during the video i hope this discussion helps you to basically ace this exam let me conclude this video thank you